Hey everyone, welcome to a new Studio One video. Today I want to answer a question I recently got on social media. How can I create a pause function in Studio One? You might be wondering, what does that even mean? Isn't the spacebar already a pause function? Well, yes and no. Let me explain. As we all know, pressing the spacebar here in our song toggles between play and stop. However, many users use the return to start on stop option. With return to start on stop enabled, if you start playback with the spacebar and then stop, the play cursor jumps back to the starting position. Now here's the question. Can you still have a true pause function? Meaning playback stops at the current position and resumes from there even with return to start on stop enabled? The answer is yes, you can. And as is often the case, you can do this with macros. Let me show you how to set this up. First, open the macro toolbar using this icon. Then right click anywhere in the toolbar and select new button. Now right click the new button and choose assign new macro. This opens the macro editor. In the macro editor type toggle start in the search field. Double click the command to add it to the macro. Now some of you might be thinking, but toggle start is the same command the spacebar uses. That's true, but here's the trick. The toggle start command has an argument called pause. Double click the toggle start entry in your macro to edit it. In the argument field, type the number one. This activates the pause behavior. Finally, give your macro a name, let's call it pause, and click OK. Now let's test it out. If I click the new pause button, playback starts and stops without the cursor jumping back. And when I press it again, Playback resumes from the same position. And the spacebar still functions as usual with the cursor jumping back. So now you can have both functionalities without needing to toggle the return to start on stop option on and off. If you prefer using a keyboard shortcut for this, that's easy to set up too. Go to Studio One, Keyboard Shortcuts and assign your new pause macro to any key you like. Now you can have one key for pause without jumping back and another for the regular stop and jump back behavior. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more Studio One tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.